Hey guys, got another parcel for you here. Pretty good size. Let's get ripped into it. So, Allosaurus. Now, um, for those of you who are familiar with me, I've actually done a review on an Allosaurus uh, by uh, Papo. So, I will not be reviewing the specimen, I'll be reviewing the model. So, um, I strongly recommend that you check out my previous video before uh, proceeding any further. It's a Sunday morning. Don't know about you, but I could sure use a drink okay i'm here at the regular I'm gonna be unboxing the pnso allosaurus pole all right there's not a lot of uh space here but i'm gonna try not to get anyone in shot here but already that box looks great against the uh, copper table here so do excuse the sound because i'm actually quite close to the uh, camera here so Look at that artwork there. Yeah, it's a Segosaurus um, impaling an Allosaurus with Phagmizer. Now that's a reference to an actual um, fossil specimen uh, discovered, which had a healed injury that Allosaurus uh, survived. That's nice. Paul the Allosaurus, not a fearless hero. Oh, quite fitting, actually. Alright, uh, let's check out the uh, model. We've got a stand here. Okay, here's the model itself. Like I said before, I'm reviewing the model, not the specimen. Look at it against the copper table there. Actually, that's more picturesque because you've got like the uh, reflection there. Oh, that is amazing. Yeah, Paul here comes with a uh, adjustable jaw. You can see that there. All right, uh, let's start from snout to tail here. Nice tip of snout and some orangey crests there. A flattering uh, blue eye, these black lips. Wow. <laughs> the coloration there, like a nice khaki, olive, earthy greens. These uh, stripes here. This coloration is uh, very implicit of the uh, savannah esque environment Allosaurus uh, lived in. Look. Epic fail. And the stand's broken here. I do like this uh, orangey part to the tail there. Reminds me of a uh, certain species of uh, lizards. This model, Paul, I mean. They could have given him a better name. I like this um, orangey transition here. 
Yeah, I mean, like for a male specimen, obviously that would have uh, been likely, whereas a female specimen would have been a bit more uh, drab. Don't know about the blue eyes. I would have gone for a more uh, red-eyed kind of look. All right, here we have the uh, Papo Allosaurus scaled up. Papo is uh, larger. I'm guessing a specimen of maybe about 12 meters compared to the uh, PNSO specimen here. But obviously you can see a difference here. Now, PNSO have really uh, corrected the uh, inaccuracies of Papo. Now, not to rip at uh, Papo here. It's a very dynamic uh, figure. If you look at Pianesaur's uh, figure, it does not suffer from a case of Bigfoot there. The arms are short, correct, and positioned properly. They're not pronated like you see uh, the uh, Papo figure here. And also the Papo figure here, its tail is reduced. It's like its tail has been bitten off or something. But what I like about both figures is that they retain bristles. Salosaurus were a uh, carnosaurus, not salosaurus, so bristles, yeah. They would have been about... I mean, look, look at that colour there. That limey green transition and these uh, brown stripes. That's just awesome. Paul, you are a winner. I mean, look at it from a distance, right? Them, them bristles appear almost like a uh, fluff. And you've got some uh, almost ostium derm like uh, patterning there. Yeah, the release of PNSO. Yeah, the release of PNSO's Allosaurus was actually a real surprise. I, I just had to get it up. So I should know, I got it from Everything Dinosaur. So uh, thank you, Mike Wally, for that. Right, on YouTube, uh, a few uh, controversies have been going about as to what species Paul has been based off. Now I hear, like, um, they don't know whether it's uh, Allosaurus fragilis or uh, A. Jimedseni. I don't know how to pronounce that. So, let's do the review here. Looking at the skull. It looks like more uh, a Jim and Midsene on account of the uh, pointed snout. However, though, um, the jawline does resemble uh, a fragilis a bit more, and there's a bit of a bit of a dip down there at the uh, the cheekbone. In a sense, it kind of looks like a uh, hybrid. So I'm going to go with this theory. Let's say the parents of uh, Paul uh, ventured out, encountered another species, and got amorous with each other. These things uh, do happen. Now, to anyone who is an Allosaurus fan or fan of uh, medium-sized theropods, go for this figure. It only cost me uh, 29 quid, and you get your money's worth. Everything Dinosaur has only just uh, released it, so you'll get in it. A very quick uh, delivery on first class. Oh, that is amazing that. Alright, I'm sorry for my lack of uh, figure here, like I said. I already did a review on the Papo figure prior to that, so check that out. <sighs> to be honest, I actually should have uh, waited for this figure to come out, but little did I know PNSO were actually going to uh, pump out these figures. <laughs> That's all right. Um, I like the colours. I don't know how accurate they are. I'd say they're pretty uh, up to date, considering the uh, savanna-like environment they lived in. It's an Allosaurus. I don't even think I've heard of that. Very. I mean, I don't know. I'm super aware of it. Very nice and detailed for me. I do like him. I don't really know Allosaurus very well. It's an underdog to the T-Rex. Okay, it reminds me of a Velociraptor. I've got a Velociraptor on my uh, channel. 
It's like halfway between a boss raptor and a T Rex, really. Smaller than T Rex, yeah. lighter, lighter build. Yeah. Bigger tail. Yeah, of course. I like it, it's very cool. What kind of a dinosaur is it? Large theropod dinosaur, late, late Jurassic. Very nice. T Rex of the day. Very cool. Right, here we have a scalation of a Venusaur T Rex. Spot on. Yeah, so Wilson here would be about 12 metres, so I'm guessing uh, Paul here would be about 9 metres or so. That is just uh, impressive. Thanks for watching. Um, do stay tuned. I have another specimen, a new releaser on the way. Should be about just over a week, and I'm really looking forward to that. Oh, I love that uh, updated model. I really should have uh, waited. But what can you do? Alright, you lot. Going back to the regular to chill out. Stay tuned.